friends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jerry Micea but all my friends call me G and if you are a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face if you haven't already girl go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe make sure to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads in today's video we are stepping out of our fashion comfort zone this fall so I'm gonna be talking simple tips and ways you can step out of your comfort zone but still feel confident and fashionable so if if you're interested in this video keep watching when it comes to stepping out of your comfort zone I don't believe that you should have to compromise quality when it comes to quality I don't think quality should be a luxury it should definitely be a standard and the pieces that I want to share with you guys before we hop into this video is just that high quality luxurious pieces okay and this portion of the video is sponsored by Quince so thank you so much to Quince for sponsoring this portion of the video anytime I think of high quality pieces I always think of Quince and what I love about Quince Quince do offer 365 days for you to return an item if it does not work for you they also offer free shipping on all orders right now quince is launching their revamped cashmere line first of all who doesn't want cashmere for an affordable price Mm, exactly but I have a few cashmere pieces that I have to share with you guys because these pieces are mwah, mwah, chef's kiss so let's hop right into these pieces so first we can start off with the top that I'm wearing now I love this top so much that I got it in two colors I got it in this gorgeous baby pink it's very soft very girly very dainty it's, it's giving the vibes okay and I also got it in cream now with this shirt I did size all the way down because I wanted more of a fitted look and I'm happy that I did size down because I love the fit with this top I know this is something that I can definitely pull for in the fall and mix and match with pieces already in my wardrobe and that's always key anytime I'm looking for new in items to add to my wardrobe I always look for pieces that I can mix and match with the pieces that I already have I love the fact that it's short sleeve and it is a very lightweight cashmere it's not itchy it's very soft to the body and I love it okay and with this top I feel like it's perfect if you live in the south because in the fall, sometimes you have those days where in the morning it's cool. By the time it hits the evening, it gets a little warmer. The fact that the shirt is short sleeve, I felt like that was perfect. So I did get this shirt in two colors because I knew for a fact that I will be pulling for this shirt. This next item is this gorgeous cashmere blue cardigan. I did get it in a size large because I wanted an oversized fit. So during the fall, winter, I could wear it with like a bodysuit underneath. I could wear it with leggings or just on those days where I don't feel like getting dressed but I I want to look put together I thought this would be really cute to mix and match with different things already in my wardrobe and that oversized fit is always a vibe for me so I did get a large to get the oversized vibe and I love it I feel like when I turn to the side it covers my butt I love the way it fall on me it's very soft to the touch and this is also a piece that I feel like could literally live in a wardrobe for years and years and this is something that any and everybody could wear no matter your age no matter your size this will look good on anybody with this cardigan a cardigan like I said is super timeless so when I I saw this the first thing I thought in my mind was this will also be a great gift for someone as we get closer to the holidays this is definitely something that I personally would buy for someone because any and everybody looks good in a cardigan and the quality and the price you can't beat it okay if someone was to buy me a cashmere cardigan I would just be like oh you love me so this is definitely on my gift list when I'm thinking about what I want to get people for the holidays cashmere pieces from Quince would definitely be on the the top of that list speaking of getting out of your comfort zone the next piece is definitely out of my comfort zone I don't own any pieces like this and I wanted to try this style out it's like a long sleeve polo sweater shirt it's a cute shirt I also got it in blue and I did size down on this to get a more fitted um look because the review said it ran a little on the large side so I did size down for me since this style of shirt is very out of my comfort zone I would definitely have to wear it with something on the bottom that is my comfort zone I can't mix two things that's out of my comfort zone together because I'm just not going to be as confident so with this top I definitely plan on wearing it with like a high-waisted skirt and tucking it in just to get a cleaner look and a more cinched waist but this is definitely out of my comfort zone but I look forward to styling this up many ways just to like challenge myself and see what I come up with so this next item like all of these items can definitely be a staple in anybody's wardrobe I picked up this cashmere black high-waisted pencil skirt I did size down to a medium in this I felt like I could have gotten a small uh, this piece is super soft okay she's gorgeous and when I saw this skirt I was like oh my god it would look so good with like this pink top or I could wear like a high 
fly um, turtleneck mock neck t-shirt during the fall winter with some boots and even a cardigan. This is something that I feel like anybody also can wear, whether you're going to work, you're going to church, or if you want to just wear it in like your day to day, this is a good piece to have and for the price you can't beat it okay the last item is also a good piece that you could definitely give someone for the holidays i got this cashmere scarf we all love a good scarf baby anything cashmere like give it to me this scarf comes in a few different colors but i went for this muted blue it has like some great undertones got this color because i felt like it would look really good in the fall with like gray sweatsuits or just like all gray monochromatic looks just to give a pop of color but also step out of my comfort zone from the typical blacks grays and browns i feel like adding colors like this is perfect and if this is out of your comfort zone doing it with like accessories scarves headbands gloves that's the perfect way to add color and step out of your comfort zone. So once I saw this scarf, I knew I had to get this color. And also, like I said, this will be a great gift. But those were all of the pieces that I picked up from Quince. And once again, thank you so much to Quince for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys are interested in any of these pieces, they will be linked down below in the description box. All right, so let's hop into a few tips that will help you guys get out of your comfort zone this fall. And the first tip is add colors that complement your skin. Now, if you're like me, when the seasons start to change, I love black y'all so I'm never gonna just stop wearing black but this fall winter I definitely want to add fun colors to complement my skin and also complement the black to just ease me out of my comfort zone so I'm gonna show you guys simple ways to do that so right now I just have on a crop top and a mini skirt now this look that I'm gonna put together is perfect for as we transition into fall and it gets a little more cool I'm gonna just take this blue cardigan from Quince and add this over my black now with this cardigan I love like I said love the fact that it's oversized so it can give me a little length even if I wear like a mini skirt like this and just like that we're not done but just like that that blue is going to soften up and give you a nice little pop of color you're still giving fall you're not as vibrant but for me this would definitely be out of my comfort zone because i'm so used to just hopping into an all black look so this is an easy way to hop out of that all black and just add a little more flair to the look so to complement this look we're going to go in with some booties and to complement this look i'm just going to pull out a pair of black patent leather booties you guys know i love patent leather and i also love mixing textures so i felt like these patent leather boots would definitely complement this look since we're getting out of our comfort zone i have a pair of sunglasses y'all these are definitely out of my comfort zone i'm not a blue tinted lens girl and i'm also not a tortoise frame girl so these are definitely out of my comfort zone but i think they look so good with this look it definitely complements the blue cardigan and i just have this blue handbag just this is an easy way that i personally would add color into my wardrobe a color that complements my skin but also gets me out of my comfort zone and how perfect is this bag to cardigan combo it's like perfection so this is definitely a simple way to ease out of the comfort zone now as you guys can see i didn't go crazy with like the color i just literally have on a blue cardigan and i added a blue bag right, so tip number two is going to be add standout accessories now i've always wanted to be a girl who wear jumpsuits but i'm short and every time i get a jumpsuit i usually have too much fabric in this area because they're usually made for people who are a little taller with longer torsos and i'm short so as you guys can see i do have like a lot of fabric here so it doesn't look as flattering i personally wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it this way but if i want to step out of my comfort zone and wear more jumpsuits what i would do is use my accessories to make me feel a little more confident and comfortable so let's accessorize this look so to complement this look i would definitely go in with some mesh pumps because they're fabulous period you could never go wrong with a pair of mesh pumps. I love the fact that you can see your toes. So it gives a little peekable moment. It's still giving like grown and sexy. I love a pointed toe shoe. And if you can see some toes, it's a vibe, okay? Now for me, anytime I think of a pop-out accessory item, I always think of a belt. An oversized belt or a corset or anything like that is always gonna be a go-to for me. Now just by adding this belt, it literally changed the whole look. One, I'm comfortable, I feel confident because you can't really tell that there's a lot of extra fabric here because the belt is hiding it. And also on the days where I don't feel the flattest in the stomach area, a belt is definitely gonna always help me feel a little more confident and comfortable. But I really want to be a jumpsuit girly this fall and this is the way that I plan on stepping out and wearing them. I'll definitely add like a corset, a belt, or something around the waist because I know 
when it comes to jumpsuits, I always have extra room. So let's finish accessorizing this look. For this look, I don't want to go too big with the bag because I want this belt to kind of like have a moment on its own. So I'm going to go in with a little nice vanity case, not too big. The color combo is perfection that matches the belt. Now for glasses, I want the glasses to pop out. So I'm going to go in with these it's like an olive green frame, but they have white outline. And I felt like these would definitely pop this look. And just like that, I took a piece that I will probably never wear out in public alone because I didn't feel confident and it's definitely out of my comfort zone. And the accessories definitely made it more comfortable and more of my speed. Anytime you're getting dressed and you're stepping out of your comfort zone, you don't want to go crazy because what you don't want to do is walk outside in something that you're not confident in. Because anytime we wear things that we're not confident in, trust and believe it shows okay it may not show on your face but it shows in the way you walk into a room anytime you wear anything that's out of your comfort zone i would definitely recommend easing into it don't just hop out of there and wear things that you're not completely comfortable with do it in a way that it eases you out of your comfort zone but you still feel confident like now i have on a jumpsuit i'm usually never that confident in jumpsuits because they look weird on me but by adding the belt the shoes like accessorizing it i feel very confident okay so tip number three is going to be try mixing different fabrics and textures so earlier in this video i told you guys this style of shirt was just out of my comfort zone i don't buy things like this Kind of like long sleeve polos i don't really buy polo shirts i just usually stay away from them but in order for me to step out of my comfort zone one i did get this in a color that i don't have in my wardrobe i told you guys i'm trying to add more colors during the fall winter to mix in with my black and my neutrals exactly like this so i have on this cashmere polo sweater shirt but i mixed it with this so up my alley a leather skirt with a satin um kind of like bottom this is so me now this is exactly how i would wear something like this because i would definitely mix it with something at the bottom that's more of my comfort zone so i'm not completely uncomfortable so let's accessorize for this look i'm going back in with these patent leather boots because mixing textures is just my thing i feel like it adds a little more character a little more life to a look and i personally love a patent leather moment y'all okay you're gonna tell me the booties don't look cute with the mini skirt and the blue like it's giving the vibe i feel so girly i feel cute and listen anytime i could show my legs i'm gonna show them okay i love showing my legs so this is definitely a way that i would do it now, a look is never complete unless you have sunglasses and a handbag so for sunglasses i want to keep it very soft and feminine so i'm going in with these black frames that have white outlining and these are like a cute little cat eye very thin frame and I feel like my hair is perfect with this look. The side part is always going to soften up any look. And for bags I'll just go in with a black shoulder bag with silver hardware. I feel like the silver hardware will look really really good with this blue so this is what we have and just like that your girl has stepped out of her comfort zone she has on blue i don't really buy blue but lately y'all blue soft blues like this greens pinks i'm here for all of the vibes and this is ways that i want to mix and match them into my fall winter wardrobe for this look i could have easily just put on a black sweater or a black turtleneck and kept it pushing i'm gonna challenge myself and get out of my comfort zone and add color i'm gonna try this this is easy ways that you can literally ease your way into adding color without feeling like you look like a clown <laughs> so when stepping out of your comfort zone i would definitely say the next tip is going to be try layering now just hear me out anytime i want to try something and i'm not sure about the style or the item i always try to layer it with pieces that i am confident and comfortable wearing so i have a few pieces that i'm mixing together that is literally out of my comfort zone so when it comes to this skirt i love a mini skirt i'm not a maxi skirt girl so once i saw this skirt I said oh this is perfect because the bottom is like I don't know if you guys can see it it is sheer I'm getting the best of both worlds because I love items that's already layered so this skirt I'm getting a mini skirt but I'm also getting a midi skirt I usually stay away from midi skirts because they're not flattering on me however this one was flattering because of the detail and on top I'm just wearing the cashmere shirt from Quince now when it comes to blazers I used to be a blazer girl but I just I don't know what happened y'all I moved out of blazers and I just started selling 
selling all my blazers and getting rid of them. So I kept a few blazers and I'm slowly trying to ease my way back into blazers and try to see how could I mix blazers into my wardrobe and my style now. As I ease back into wearing blazers, I definitely found that I like more of an hourglass tailored look with like a very structured shoulder. And I love a long, longer blazer. It just comes a little lower in the back. So this is definitely a way that I would step out of my comfort zone by wearing a midi skirt and a blazer. To balance out this look for me in order to still be in my comfort zone, I need to show toes at the bottom. So I just put on a pair of gold uh, strappy sandals and I would definitely go in with some fun fabulous sunglasses to tie this thing right on up. I keep telling y'all, a look is not complete without sunglasses and a bag. And just like that, adding the sunglasses and a bag, I feel like it gives it more of a chic look. But this skirt, y'all, I love it. I don't know if y'all, it's coming off on camera, but she is everything. I love that you can kind of like see a little peekaboo of skin. Not too much, but it's still giving fashion forward. If it was a day when I'm just like, I really don't feel like stepping that far out of my comfort zone, I would definitely pull out a mini skirt with a blazer and some mules and I'm still giving a cute little pre-fall look, especially on a day if it's not that cold, it's like maybe cool out and I can get away with wearing my legs out and some mules, but this is more in my comfort zone. I'm still wearing a blazer, but I'm not wearing two items that could possibly make me feel uncomfortable throughout the day because like I said, I'm not used to wearing blazers and I'm also not used to wearing long longer maxi or midi skirts so trying two items in one day that's out of my comfort zone could be a lot so if I didn't want to do that this is how I would kind of like soften the blow and ease my way into wearing a blazers and I'll just wear like a maxi skirt or, or a midi skirt another time with something else all right girlfriends so that is all that I have for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe if you're interested in any of the pieces that you guys would have seen in this video i'm going to link as much as i could down below so don't forget to check the description box and i will see you girls in the next one